Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo 100k on this week's Nightfall ordeal, which is Warden of Nothing. I'm doing it on the Warlock, I'm doing it on Voidwalker, I'm using the Ostringer as my primary with uh, Unstoppable, the Unstoppable Hand Cannon mod. It's quite a good hand cannon, range finder, always helpful on a hand cannon. Ariana's Vow, which is I've got the Catalyst completed for, so 9 in the mag with Autoload and Holster. Sword with Disrupting Blade for the Overload Champions. And I'm going to couple that with Passive Guard, which makes me harder to kill when I've got the sword out. Enhanced Sword Scavenger, Unflinching Light Arms and Hand Cannon Reserves, pretty good. You can see I've got a lot of recovery. Uh, Contraverse Holds for the recharge of my grenades, and I always like to have Fast Ball on. Major Resist, Special and Heavy Ammo Finder are, are really a must. They are a must for doing this, because it really increases the amount of Heavy and Special that you do drop. Now... One of the modifiers in this Nightfall is whenever you kill goblins, uh, they drop a pull of Radiolarian Arc kind of dam arc damage and pull. It looks like Radiolarian, and it does do quite a bit of damage. So be wary when you're killing goblins, as you can see there. The other th the other mo modifier is obviously we've got all champions in this, which is which is quite quite interesting. So unstoppable barrier and overload, and Enemies that throw grenades, throw them more often, so the, the, the Cabal will throw their kind of grenade things uh, more often. So just be wary of those. Sometimes they'll stick you with them. So when you get to this point, I just I always throw a grenade right in the centre there. It takes care of most of those ads. Now, you'll see here, I just dedicated to the primary battle here, but I do not suggest you do that. Switch to your Arianas and just one hit, because there's... there's there's too much of a build-up of ads here. You've got a champion up top as well, an, an overload champion. Uh, that boy there was just out of our range, so we're just going to push up, just try and get that one hit on him. Now the overload will push us. I wouldn't say I was lucky here. Uh, he normally doesn't teleport. This is like the third time I've done this. He normally doesn't teleport all the way back up there like that. The fallen captain would have teleported all the way into the next area, but he... The, the Vex Minotaur is much more predictable in his teleporting. Uh, so, not too bad. But when you when you access that portal, that uh, console, I always like to jump over that train just to give myself a head start in this next area. Two goblins, two yellow bar goblins uh, up top. So you want to take them out because that's kind of where you're going to go to avoid this train. And then you've got two goblins down here. Now try and get hits, especially try and get a hit. As you can see, I just managed to get it there. Get a hit on that goblin that's right in front of where the train's going to come. Because any any enemy that you hit that, that gets killed by something in the environment, like a train, you will get the points for the kill. If you don't hit it, it's like when you shoot exploding barrels. If you don't hit the enemies that the exploding barrel's going to kill, if you hadn't hit them with your weapon beforehand you, or a grenade, you will not get the points for them. So here we've got, again, some Vex, from Vex uh, Goblins, and we have a Hydra. So I was really lucky here with a grenade. I kind of, I just, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Just managed to catch the edge of them, and the grenade sorted the Hydra out, which is pretty cool. There's an Incender up top who's Void Shielded. So we're going to take out the, the Phalanxes first, and then we're going to go up here. We're going to use the sword, obviously run with the sword to get the damage reduction which was really strange that i i still got burnt there i don't think that that doesn't happen i don't think in the run again so just be wary of that and and because i was burning you probably noticed i put the sword back out i was gonna just block just intrinsically out of just knowing that it works sometimes just to stop the burn from doing any more damage i'll pick up that heavy and then we'll attack this minotaur exactly the same way except the minotaur very predictable he'll always jump down like that and when he jumps down he's 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 not a threat he won't shoot at you while he's jumping down up onto the monorail you've got a goblin at each of the junctions and two goblins down to the left in between this junction and the next one so i do like to take them out it still is points we are getting 100k this is on uh i think legend the thousand 1000 power level setting i don't think i've said that yet so yet this is on the thousand power so you are going to need the all the points you know but i think you'll see when i actually do it 
I probably could have got more. And that's not if I'd have shot fast or if I'd have just decided not to finish the boss when I did, I would have got more points. But once you've got 100,000, that's all you're interested in. Unstoppable enemy next. And we're going to stop him from here and just Ariana to our heart's content from range. And there we go. Easy, e e easy work. Now, I've, I've thrown a grenade here, but what I've done is I've hit the first enemy, which maybe I should have tried to throw over him. But uh, used Arianas to take out the second enemy, not, not a problem. And just finish off these ads. And then move up to the next section. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. All of these kind of things, like nightfalls and stuff like that, they're all pretty straightforward if you do it right. If you if you attack from the right place. So, a couple of goblins here, but there's also hobgoblins behind them. So, I like to get rid of the, the snipers pretty quickly. Just because they can be a pain if they're left unchecked. You also have a yellow, a yellow bar, an elite uh, hob goblin. So, I've got them both down low. So, it's just a one hit to finish both of them. Then, we've got a hydra. Now, if you move up, you'll see I actually do. If you move up like that you will act you will start bringing out the next wave of ads luckily the grenades the grenade was good and the shots were good so we first off we're going to get this sniper which we can take down ariana doesn't really you know doesn't really bother too much about about it when it goes into its cocoon state as i call it a lot of ads do that in the game they cocoon themselves to regen health now I may be on, on retrospect, I shouldn't have thrown that grenade. But, I mean, the fact that I got this done and, you know, I'm, I'm always self-assessing. Maybe I should have kept the grenade for now and thrown it at this bunch of ads and cleared them quickly. But luckily we got one back, which was not a great grenade. Not, not bad, but not a great grenade. But we almost got it back. So, this is your next champion. Now, I engaged... And then I disengaged and threw a grenade at a train because you have to do that. Uh, and the reason I disengaged is because, as I said, the modifier, we do not want to attack a champion when there's all these hobgoblin, all these goblins up here because regardless if we kill the champion, we're going to be in trouble. Now, as you can see, I thought all the goblins were down. There was one still up here and he gave me a hard time. It's why I disengaged when there was so many up there, because I just got melted. So make sure the goblins are gone before you attack that champion. Now what we're going to try and do is take out just about everything here before the, the boss minotaur comes up. So we'll put, put one down there, put a grenade down there. We know we've got some elites down here that are always hiding down here. So we'll take the elites down, get back. This is your safe spot. Even when the minotaur comes, that is your safe spot. So we're just looking for, making sure that you don't really, that's, the modifier with the goblin really dictates how you play this level. So we think we've got all the goblins down, but just as I jumped, I seen another wave spawning in, which is fine. Because they're not going to come down, they're not going to be in our line of sight. Jump across here, but see that meltage? Very easily could have died there, very easily. But I've, I have got quite high recovery on to get my, my, uh, to get my rifts back pretty quickly. So I've thrown a grenade down there. As you can see it finished all those elites. Now we're going to get the boss. So I'm just going to finish off any kind of stragglers. There's no stragglers. There's the boss. And I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw my Nova. I'm not going to shoot the Nova. Just about finished them. But just for points. I want to take these ads. Because there's, there should be some elites here. Which as you can see two elites. It's over a thousand points. And that's, that's all the ads from there. So I'm going to throw that grenade. I thought I'd missed him. But he teleported right back to the same place. Which is always good. A couple of elites here. Never got... If I'd have just shot them with my primary. I actually, as you can see, I got out Arianas and was wanting to do some Ariana work on them. But had no special ammo. If I'd have just hit them with my primary. When the game wiped them. I would have got the points. So something for you guys to to maybe think about if you if there's stragglers about or whatever, just just get a shot on them and get yourself the points. So we're back up with a bit of ammo now. 
now we're on to the next section in this next section you're going to have the wanted enemy which we're not we want nothing to do with the wanted but you are you are going to have an unstoppable the unstoppables for the cabal are probably the easiest barriers for the cabal the barriers are probably the hardest um I'm not really a big fan of the barriers because they've got the two attacks they've got a suppressant and they've got the big machine gun so we're going to take out some of these ads here now you what you're going to have is you're going to have those two snipers and then you're going to have these guys come in now i'm just gonna just you see those grenades you really have to be careful because they've got quite a decent quite a decent radius so i've left him up a little bit because i want my grenade so i've melee them i've got my grenade and now i'm just gonna throw that on those and it should take the elites and you can see it just about took them all left me one which is no problem so i'm just going to put some shots on these ads up here i can see in this in this room you are going to get some special so i've got my grenade back so i'm going to hit this pillar which should hit the rest of the elites we know we've got an incendiary we know that the wanted is around here and we know we've got an unstoppable so i'm just trying to get a bead on the unstoppable and there he is so i'm going to draw him towards me stop him with the and then i'm just this time i'm just gonna go after him with the sword so as you can see i've done a big hit and then went with the smaller hits and if you watch your sword when you go with that big right trigger hit it the more you you hit after that so you do the right trigger and then you're going to do right shoulder and the right shoulder will recharge the, the the right trigger hit the big the big uppercut hit and then we went after the the void and cinder and that wanted he is still there you i you can wait till he goes when you're doing your run you can wait till he goes before pushing him because that was pretty tight take out the sniper that and wipe up the rest of the ads and we're going to push up here the wanted enemy will be up here depending on how fast you got up here if you if if you're i'm, I'm going pretty quickly here so he's still waiting up top normally he'll be you can see he's just about to go now so i want to take out all the ads and just leave this in cinder we're doing well with points here we're going to finish this section with just about fifty-five thousand, somewhere about there there we go now in this next section you're going to have a few champions so when you get in here you're going to have three champions two champions three champions you're gonna have a void barrier a cabal barrier and a, a vex sorry a vex barrier a, a cabal barrier and a vex on uh overload so what we're gonna go we're gonna do this in order you see i've thrown a grenade just to take out some of those vex we've got a heap more vex here so we're gonna take out these vex here and we've got a champion that we can attack from here there he is now, because he's out in the open with that radio larian void uh, arc stuff so i'll break his shield now because i've got if you don't have the the catalyst reload your arianas when he when as soon as you break his shield reload it and that should finish him now i'm going to put a grenade over here and i think on this run the the, the overload champion came came at me so I'm just going to break his shield there. So I've went back. I've broke the barrier shield, barrier champion shield, and now I've en I enticed the I enticed the overload champion to come to me, which means I can attack him from a decent place. So grenade on the champion, broke his shield, and it just keep hitting him until he's dead. The grenade does a lot of damage. The grenade does a lot of damage so once you break his shield as soon as you break don't wait for any animation as soon as you break his shield start charging your grenade now all the enemies are down in here so what we're going to have is we're going to have plates that we have to capture i always take these plates in the same kind of way i always take uh i always try and take these enemies first now you've got time to get on the plate you don't have to get on the plate immediately you do have time before you need to get on a plate and there's champions so what we're going to do is as you can see i'm just want to break this champion shield but i'm not going to attack him 
just gives me a chance to clear out some of the some of the ads he's going to put his shield back up and he's not got anything around him now he's not got any radio larian around him so i can go after him that is uh a clear so i can go on to a now what i'm going to do is i'm going to charge a grenade and i'm going to throw it down on those ads down there and try and clear some of those guys so as you can see we've got a few of them cleared that is the last plate i'm going to go to the next plate i'm going to go to is b i think it's b i always forget which is which but we're going to this one over here <laughs> i think the other one was i think the other one's c now i'm going to take out the goblins now if you attack from this it just seems to be as i say i've done this a few times nope this is c so this is the order i go in and take out that you're gonna get a couple of ads coming once you take out the goblins you're gonna get some goblins coming and if you've taken out the minotaur if he's still here which he's not he went all the way over there to take out fight with that and cinder if he's still here and you kill him when those next wave of ads come there's a good chance you're going to get another one of those. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to charge my grenade, throw it on top of those ads, stop the unstoppable, and go after the unstoppable with my sword, and then get out of there. Right? And get over here. Because you need to get on the plate before the timer runs out. That's the way these plates work. It doesn't matter if you get on with one second left. As long as you're on here, it will stop the clock as you can see the clock's at 10 that's the way the plates work you've got until the plate hits zero to get onto the plate if you don't get on before it hits zero you'll fail so that's kind of how this section works so now we've got an incender just take him out now we're going to get a whole wave of ads so as you can see i know those cabal are going to come there a lot of elites so I was ready as soon as I took that incendiary, I pushed over and took out took out those ads. Now we've got really annoying cabal kind of champion, and quite a few cabal. But as you can see, it's a great thing about the Arianas that it shoots through their shields. Uh, and obviously, if I'd have left it a little bit longer, it would have reloaded. I'm just just trying to see if there's any more ads. And uh, I know I've got my super, so I just want to put a little bit on him. I can see, yep, got him there. Charge my grenade. And sometimes that happens, you guys know that, that you throw your grenade and it gets shot out of the air and pushed. Well, that's kind of what happened to me there. So... We're going to now get the same. We're going to get the second wave of ads. And this time I just decided, because I've got because I've got a passive guard, I decided to just attack that next wave of ads with a sword. So just making sure there's no ads. We don't want any other ads floating about. We just want it to be us and him so we can do that. Now I'm going to collect ammo and we're, we're in for the final kind of the final encounter, the boss encounter now. I'll maybe speak about it in a different video. I don't think I'm going to speak about it in this too much. But there is a kind of way you can guarantee yourself to have your super when you get here. There is a way you can, you can use it and then you can guarantee yourself to get it. But I'm going to do it without that. It's not really a cheese. It's not a cheese. It's utilizing stuff that's already in the game that everybody knows about. And just probably just doesn't do it for this type of thing. When you drop down here, normally you've just got four or five ads and then you've got the, the server. Well, you're actually going to have two champions this time. So we're going to have... Uh, I can't remember what they are. I think one's, uh, one is a Vex Barrier and an Unstoppable. That's what it is. So you're going to have a Cabal Unstoppable and a Vex Barrier. We're going to take the Unstoppable first. But we're going to take some of the little littler ads before we go for before we go for the unstoppable. So you can see there because I, I I wanted to take the the cabal ones because well they throw those annoying grenades and sometimes they stick you with those annoying grenades so there's no running away. So we'll jump over here, take out this other cabal like this. He stuck me with a grenade. 
So I'll just wait for my health to come back a little bit more and we'll start hitting this barrier. What I'm going to do for the boss is as soon as the boss comes, I'm going to get a, 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 a charge grenade. I'm going to hit the boss. Then the boss is going to hit me back. And that normally doesn't happen. But luckily, that normally doesn't happen. Very, in fact, it's the first time it's ever happened to me. So I'm just going to hit, hit, hit. Until I hear him saying the next, you know, cabal on the field or whatever one he says. And I'm going to go back to this point. Now, as you can see, we've got 100,000. But there is going to be a load of ads coming in. So we kind of are going to have to deal with these ads. So, now there's, there is this thing... A lot of people say if you if you get behind these things and you don't peek and you don't do it, the, the ads come for you anyway. It doesn't matter. If you crouch, you can kind of kind of be left alone. But what I what I noticed was, and I'd never really noticed it before, the boss now at times will come after you. But where we are now is kind of there's a few of these pillars which you'll see me run into them. As you can see, the boss started to move over to me. So, get the sword out, and I moved over here. Very simple. You just get behind these pillars, and just, if you're unsure where you are or where the ads are, you can just bring your sword out. It's not trials. Nobody's going to moan at you for, for three peeking. Now, I've put my Nova on him. Get my sword out, and I'll use my sword. So, jump, boost, swipe. You're not going to sword fly, but it does give you a little bit more. And we've moved all the way over to the other side of the map. We've still got more rift. We've got a grenade. No problem at all. 108,000. No problem at all. So I'm going to throw a useless grenade over at the wall. And uh, have, have the boss look at it and wonder what I was doing. I didn't expect him to move when I threw that grenade. So we've got a rift. There's still, a, there's still a few ads up. You can see them jumping about. So I'm just... I'm, I'm safe. I'm fine. I'm, I'm getting ammo. I could go after him with a sword if I really wanted to. But I, I don't want to. So I'll go and get that. I've got a bit of, bit of energy. Now I'm going to move. Because I knew he was pushing over to the other side. And there we go. We're in here that was a close one but that's kind of what you've got to do move about and that minotaur made a big mistake when you're moving from these areas as you can see the boss does he does push after you here but because i've got the sword on i've got passive guard i can look now the boss has left us and i'm just going to use some ariana just to kind of mop up Mop up the ads. I've got a rift. If get if it gets a little bit hairy, I've got a rift. And now I'm gonna move. Try and pick up some ammo, if I can. Get some shots off at the boss. There we go. Got some nice ammo there. And from this position here, we should be able to finish him. So we're gonna put a grenade. We've still got one rift. It was a good grenade. Now we're going to get another wave of ads. But we're not going to need to bother with the, the next wave of ads. As you can see, he's got very little left. Stole my Arianas to get the reload on it. I'll put another grenade. And I'm just kind of just biding my time. My Arianas is fully, fully, fully reloaded. And now I'm just going to put it on him and finish him. And that is the run, guys. So... Move from pillar to pillar. Use these little alcove bits to your advantage. Don't let the boss push right up on you. Use your sword to peek and as a way of getting more shield. And that's the run, guys. Thank you very much for watching. You know I always appreciate you guys. Take it easy. I hope this helps you get it done.